Hey, welcome back to my new video. Today we're gonna create this gaming UI in After Effects. All right, let's import the assets for this and create a new composition. Rename it main comp. Five seconds long, 60 frames per second. Hit OK. Rectangle tool and fill with no stroke. Draw a rectangle. Okay, rename this BG background. Go to the effects and presets and search for ramp and I'm going to add this ramp here and let's go and import the logo here let's scale it down hold down shift and scale it down and move the logo somewhere here so let's pick the color let's go back to the background layer go to the effects and controls and select this color be Let's make it blue, right? Swap the colors, move the points somewhere here. Something like this. All right, let's go and grab this polygon tool and draw a big polygon somewhere here. Okay. And let's rename this polygon and duplicate the background control d and put it just above the polygon and set this track mat like this alpha mat i will go ahead and animate the rotation of this hit r on the keyboard to bring up the rotation hold down alt and click on this top watch type in time times five so you have this kind of rotation all right so maybe i might even want to push it towards this and maybe even scale it up something like this all right and go to the fix and presets and type in drop shadow and add it on top of the polygon and increase the distance to somewhere here and let me go back to the background layer and copy the radial ramp control C and paste it on the polygon control V to paste it there and all you have to do is pick the color orange here something like that all right so let's go and create another solid which will be dots okay and go in the effects and presets and search for CC ball action and drop it on the dots change the color to to white right so that it's visible all right ball size lower it down and grid something like 10 and ball size to 15 all right so let's go and duplicate this background and let me just you know mask it like that like we did before I'm going to move this logo on top of everything. Let's animate the logo here. Hit P on the keyboard. Go a few frames ahead. Maybe hold down Shift and page. Hit page down one, two, twice. Set a position. Go back to the first and move it down here. Select all the keyframes. F9 for easy ease. Go to the graph editor, and you can change the graph like this. Right. So. Okay, so let's import the social logos here. And right now you can see. And maybe I'll go and change the dots to maybe black. Fill and change it to black. And even lower the opacity. Hit T on the keyboard and. 50% or maybe even lower than that 30% and the Twitter is here scale it down and I'm gonna add a fill to this and change the color to something like this let the Twitter logo be here and type in Twitter bold and scale it somewhere up here and control D to duplicate and follow me right and this time I'm gonna change the regular and 
make it even you know smaller something like this and maybe even scale the Twitter logo up a notch like this let me go ahead and animate this the Twitter logo right hit P on the keyboard hit hold down shift and R and hold down shift and page down one two so the keyframe for the position and rotation go back to the first keyframe and push it down and rotation to something like this hit select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease and i'm gonna tweak it like this right so this is what i have and i'm gonna use a text preset for this twitter and browse apply animation presets and i'm gonna use this you can you'll be able to download this text preset from the link below right after you apply that text preset animation preset i'm gonna delete this hit u on the keyboard to bring up all the keyframes select the last four keyframes delete it because we don't want that like that and i'm gonna do the same for follow me so select this animation apply animation preset and select the preset hit u on the keyboard and delete the last four keyframes here and maybe offset it here so that you have this all right and oops all right once you're done with this you can you know duplicate this control d and move it up and I'm going to move it somewhere here and hit U and select this select all the keyframes for the Twitter so I'm going to rename this Instagram and let me go ahead and grab the Instagram logo select this twitter logo hold down alt on the keyboard and while holding down alt you can drag this instagram logo and let it go and that replaces it very easily all right so all you have to do is animate the same like you did for this twitter you'll have to animate this instagram logo okay moving on let's duplicate this another time move it up here and somewhere here and move this sidewise rename this subscribe I'll rename this youtube and the same goes for this let me go and select this instagram hold down alt and drag and drop youtube and it replaces there so all you have to do is animate the position and rotation of this instagram hit p on the keyboard hold down shift and r to bring up the rotation hold down shift and page down twice set a keyframe and go to the beginning of this uh, layers and move it down and rotation like this hit all the, select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease go to the graph editor once again and change it like this and you'll do the same for this right so youtube p shift r and page down twice select and set a keyframe go to the first move it down and rotation select all the keyframes f9 easy is and select this right so simple as that okay and put it above all the layers and i'll go and create a new solid and rename this saber make it black okay okay so go to the fix and presets and type in saber drag and drop this saber and change this to screen and set one end here and the other end oops and the other end of this to here and move this logo on top of saber okay so there you have it 
select the saber, go to the saber effects and controls, go and select, you know, fire here. And you can play with these settings and you, you can set it however you like. Alright, so the final and most important thing is once you export this, you have to export it with a transparent background. But right now, if I select this transparency, it's the background black color is still there. So how do I go about rendering it transparent, right? So select this saber layer and you have to change this composite settings from black to transparent. In that way, you have a transparent background. You can go and export it. So control M, select this and make sure you are at quick time format to PNG and you'll have to select this RGB plus alpha. Make sure you select this, hit OK and you can render it out and you'll have a transparent background. All right, I hope you like this video and you might want to check out these two videos for more After Effects lessons. This has been Motion Designer. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in my next video. Take care.